I think he's just about got this in now. This is called easing the joint up. He's actually running a saw down it so that it's an even gap. And then as he evens that gap out, we can tap the timber tight. I mean, you see here how the timber is actually shaped to fit. The fact that the curve, the edge of this piece of timber is actually curving around a little bit. It's not straight and flat and square. So the new piece is cut so that it follows the out of square shape of the timber. And if we go round So it's completely clear and there's an even gap all the way down to allow the joint to tighten up. So now we'll see whether he can tighten that up. There we go, he's just about to do the same thing on the other side. Just cutting that. So the joint's really, really tight and snug. You can see the, the new diagonal brace here. And you can see how tight that joint is. It's not hard to get good joints if you know what you're doing. Getting that next brace ready to joint for that one. Oh, slipped out the hole. No, we, right, just fail, we grab that, take that out there. Why I go and do this. Shit, use your apprentice now, out. Take that out. Some sharp and help him out. That up tight. Lovely. Probably another two cups. Uh, you can see. I can't even get my finger now then there. Beautiful. And the same up here. And then these pieces, I think you can see the the timber in the back of the peg hole there. That gets drilled through and pegged. So there we go. You can see Marking up the, the next piece. We got the tenon marked out ready. Didn't take him very long. Thanks, Mikey. <laughs> well this is the modern way of cutting. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Yeah.